Life blooms in the darkness where we cannot see, where we cannot alter, where we cannot, without you, without me. Without the exhibition is called Power Plans and essentially it's several works dealing with the park, you know, the surrounding area of the serpentine and trying to see it both through the lens of plants and flowers but then also through the level of the area's real existing economic inequality. So I guess that's the two levels the show operates on and there are several works that speak to it many of which are actual augmented reality applications, right, which add information to whatever the background is. And then there's also a series of video sculptures, which is called power plants, and which are actually AI predicted or generated flowers that an AI has calculated into the future. The question about AI is very simple. I think most people believe that whatever an AI comes up with is the truth. And I don't really see that this is the case, but I still want to know how it works and what kind of results you could actually achieve using it. So mainly it's about understanding it, but also about showing its limitations, right? Because if you actually look into the future using an AI, then you will see very quickly that this future is extremely blurry, right? And you won't be able to recognize anything. The harvesting of sunlight to produce energy is the ultimate driver of virtually all life on the surface of our of your... I'm Koji Radical. Um, I'm an artist, poet, music artist from East London, Hoxton. What I loved the most about making the music was um, the amount of freedom. Um, we had a theme and we had these stories that we was able to kind of like delve into and these little sound bites. But for the most part, um, it was almost like two artists kind of interacting in their spaces and, and coming together. In, in all of this and um, I guess that's why it looks and feels like this. It's amazing to be a part of actually. I don't know, I find that like my love for Hito is different, man. She's gangster. She's gangster as anything. Like she does what she wants and she feels what she wants and she makes art about what she wants to and it's, it's not conventional. Um, it's not necessarily easy to digest, but it's fun to digest. And when you get stuck in, there's always some kind of reward from it. So um, yeah, she's just a G, man. I really wanted to work with Koji because I wanted, first of all, to work with a London-based musician. So I really started a research and went through a lot of music produ being produced at the moment and Koji's music just blew me away immediately. Spoken word poetry is that what you call it, but then also there's a real musical flow to it, right? Yeah, so it really, really draws you in right from the start. And then there's also this really poetic license and freedom in his lyrics. I really adore that. I try and find um, a likeness to my real life with any kind of subject or brief. The idea of working with plants and working with this idea of photosynthesis or speaking about it, I try to relate it to more of like a human story, more of a real life story of just about how we absorb from life how we grow from this, this radiant energy that kind of exists without us and in a sense that's what helps us heal. Um, so trying to imagine th photosynthesis like a human process and, and how we do it every day, just in getting up and going to work and, and, and figuring it all out, that was the challenge but we got there in the end. A snippet in the soundtrack of the show is actually being produced by an AI. I trained a neural network on my own voice repeating this is the future and asked the AI to predict that. So it keeps saying this is the future in my voice. I mean, this is extremely tautological, right? First of all, it's very strange kind of prediction it comes up with. And then all it has to say about the future is literally the words, this is the future, right?